Hey there, my name is Bunny, and I'm coming to you today from the Rootbound shop with some great news on a product that we are just not talking enough about. Today, I want to introduce to you Voodoo Gel Stain from Dixie Bell. So I know this product has been around for a while, but it is so versatile, and it has become a fast favorite in the shop for projects that we just need that extra little something with. It's so versatile, you guys. The possibilities with this product are endless. Because it's water-based, but pigmented like a gel stain, you can use it in so many different ways because it mixes with so many other products that you're already using, like your Dixie Belle paint. I can add this right to my paint container or right to a dab of paint and mix them together and put them on a product. I can use it like a glaze, so I can paint a piece of wood and put some of this over the top of it and use it to highlight all the detail and all of the nooks and crannies in a piece. Also, I can put wax on a piece and then come back with some Voodoo Gel Stain and highlight and add some depth and character to that wax. It's so versatile. There are so many different applications for this. And today we are gonna talk about using this in a few different ways. So I have made for us some sample boards that we are gonna be working off of today. So I have here two sample boards that I have separated into two separate pieces. So this is painted in fluff on one end. It has two coats of fluff on there and they have dried. This is just bare wood. This is just bare wood that we're gonna paint with a mix where we have mixed the Voodoo Gel Stain and the fluff together and we're gonna put it on here. And this I have added white wax to the bare wood and we're gonna use it like a glaze over the top of the wax. Now, this product comes in seven super cool colors. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the colors because they are really cool. And the best part about this stuff is if it doesn't have, a, if there isn't a color that you love already, you can mix them together to create the color that you love. It is truly a series of endless possibilities. But the first color is this Temptress. This is a really pretty teal, very neat. Um, it just, I can imagine this so beautifully in like those summer beachy projects that you're going to be working on in the spring. And the color we're going to use today, this is Up in Smoke. It's this really cool gray weathered look. I love it. Um, this is Black Magic. So it is like this dark charcoal, um, really fun, really, this looks so great with white wax, and I am not kidding you, so great with white wax. Um, also, a fan favorite around here is this Bayou Moss. This is that perfect aged green, just like the moss hanging in your trees. It is the coolest stuff. I love this color. And also, there is Tobacco Road. Tobacco Road is your more traditional brown looking stain um, and it goes so well with the Up in Smoke Gray, like a little bit of Black Magic, a little bit of Tobacco Road, and a little bit of Up in Smoke and you have the coolest, oldest looking wood ever. Now, it also comes in two colors that I don't have sample sticks for, but I'm gonna tell you about them anyways. The first is White Magic. White Magic is this great, like, if you've ever put like a white wash over something and just went, holy smokes, this is maybe the coolest piece I've ever done, that's what the white magic does. It is absolutely amazing like that. And then the second color, which, uh, hello, I love this, denim. Denim is like looking at your favorite pair of blue jeans every single day. I, I just love it. It is one of my favorites around here and um, I am planning on using it on absolutely everything come summertime. So those are the colors that I have here today for sample sticks. Again, we're gonna use the Up and Smoke, that really pretty gray. And we are gonna work on our sample boards here. And then we are gonna see what the product looks like on the top of this piano bench. Um, and just see what you get an idea of what it looks like when you put it on an actual project. I'm just going to use a rag and 
wipe this in. So it is as much or as little as you want. You can load it up, you can coat it on. It doesn't take very long to dry because it's water-based. So you can wait a few minutes, add another coat. Put a little bit more on this wood side. So cool. All right, let me give you a little look here. So this is what it looks like when we put it over that raw wood. It really just gives it a nice age. It brings in some gray. This is cedar, so it has a lot of red in it. It has a lot of orange in it, but it just adds that really pretty, nice gray look to it. And then this is over the fluff. So imagine that used like a glaze where you have all that pretty detail or fluting in a piece of furniture and you want to bring out all that detail, this is like the ultimate product to do that with. And it goes right over your water-based chalk paints. So it's so handy. All right, we're gonna set that there and let it dry a little bit and we're gonna move on. So this piece I have put white wax over the top of and this one is just plain wood and we are going to paint this with a mixture of the fluff and the up in smoke uh, voodoo gel stain. So, all right, let me set that there. I'm gonna put a little on top of this wax. I'm just going to wipe it on just like a stain. Now, if I was doing a real project, I'd probably want to have a lint-free rag to do it with. I do not have a lint-free rag right here at this moment. I have these terry towels. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, that detail is cool. When you get the close-up of that, you're going to know why I love this. All right, and then I have just taken um, a paper plate here and mixed the fluff and the Up and Smoke Voodoo Gel Stain in it. Um, because this is a water-based product, I can use my really nice brushes with it. So I don't have to worry about um, putting a stain on a good brush that costs a lot of money and you hate to waste them or ruin them. Um, I would no more put an oil-based stain on my nice brushes than I would cut my own finger off. That's how strongly I feel about that. But this stuff, not a problem. You can use it, it washes out just like any other paint. So let's just put it on there. And I didn't measure this, I just added until I liked the color. And it's this really pretty gray now. And then imagine if you went back over this with the up and smoke again and used it like a glaze on there. Uh, hello, heaven. So that is one coat on there. So I wanna show you the look that we have here. So look at how cool that wood looks with the white wax and then a coat of the up and smoke. That is amazing. And this, it's probably a little tougher to see in this light, is that gray shimmer in the fluff. 
It's only one coat, so I can still see some brush strokes in there and I can still see a little bit of the wood grain popping through. And maybe that's what you want. Maybe you wipe it back after you put it on and you just keep that really pretty look. Let's see how much of this we could wipe back. It's getting kind of dry because this is quick dry and paint, but. That's cool. Look at that look. Um, tell me that doesn't look like it's been stored in somebody's barn for a whole bunch of years and had a bunch of white paint just wear off of it in a hundred years of use. I love that. All right, I'm gonna set our sample boards down here. I'm gonna let them dry for a minute. And we are gonna move on to working on the top of this piano bench. So this piano bench I have already sanded down to bare wood and cleaned with Dixie Bell White Lightning. It's dry, it's ready to work on. So I am just going to, um, first I'm gonna grab myself a good rag. Okay, now we are gonna move on to working on the top of this piano bench. So I went and I picked myself up a little lint-free rag. I just ordered these off of Amazon. Um, they come in like a 24 pack or a 30 pack or something. They're pretty cheap. Um, and I use them for the most part when I wanna use something that I know is lint-free. So um, I am going to give this another shake so that I know that it's all mixed up nicely. I am just going to squirt this product right on my wood as much or as little as you want because it's pigmented like a gel stain a little can go a long ways and depending on how dry your wood is a little can go a long ways too I'm just going to move it all around the top of this piece and then we'll start working on our going with the green. Look at how pretty that wood grain is with this up and smoke voodoo gel stain. All right, everybody. I just want to conclude today's video and remind you how versatile this product is, how you can use it on so many different things and in so many different ways. And because it's water-based, the cleanup is a piece of cake and it's really easy to use, you guys. It is just rub in rub off totally easy to use so if you like today's video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and if you want any of the products that we use today in today's video like the up and smoke voodoo gel stain or the dixie bell white wax or fluff or any of the other great colors that dixie bell offers visit me at my website which is rootboundlife.com also you can follow me on facebook i am at Rootbound Life, and I am on Instagram at rootbound.bunny. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back next time with another mind blowing tutorial from the Rootbound shop. Until then, stay creative.